big. Oh, wow. You guys really are getting big. Oh, look at you. Yep, you're a hen. You're a hen. Yep, you're a hen. You're a hen. Oh, well, that's a butt. I can't tell. No, no, it's not a butt. Oh, yeah, it is a butt. Uh, anybody would like to turn around and show me their breasts? I need to see the breasts. Okay, come on, guys. Y'all know you like me. Yeah, flutter, flutter. Cream and butter. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, you're a chickaroo. You're a hen. Oh, I think. Uh, no, nope, you're a hen. Oh, oh, we got a hen in front. Oh, okay, good. That one right there. That's a male. See that either one that that one's a male too. Uh, uh, uh. No, they don't do that. Okay. They pee 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 peep all night. Flutter, 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 flutter. Where the hell's my food? I'm thirsty. We got two roosters at least that I can see. And that is just enough for this little group. I want to see some eggs, y'all. Because guess who's going out to the pen so you can grow. Yes. That, my dear, right there, that chest, is a roux. Now all the other girls have specks on their chest. See, like, well, they like to show off when they don't think nobody's looking. But, I couldn't wait to see ya. Oh, you need your food. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. We were talking about Jim Henson the other day. Yep, dip, 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 dip. Sesame Street. Well, excuse me, your bum's in my face. But my gosh, inside here, they're getting to it. Okay, yeah, look, there's room. It looks like it on camera, but I'm going to tell you what. If there were three right here, Look at them all over here. Do you see what I'm saying? They are getting huge. I don't even know what voice that was, but they're huge. Oh, there's a room in the back. There he is. Yes. All right. You guys, I'm so proud of you. You're about to graduate from the penthouse to the facts of life. And that's outside. Because I'm tired of my room smelling like a zoo. But I love you guys. And they were so much fun. So, so much fun. I lost Dylan. Oh, yes. Totally. I couldn't tell you a hill of beans or nothing. Yep. Oh, yes, they're hopping. Uh, they're preening. They're str- Look at that. Roo, he's so pretty. I can call him a him. And not a him she. Wow. And they do. They love their sand. Boy, they get down. Look at it. Look at them. They get down that sand. Wiggle, wiggle, and jiggle. I have fun with these guys. Yep. I just love it. Yes. <gasps> There's the other roo. Yes, I got two roosters. And that's perfect. Because I've got 
12 females in two rows. Yep, get the dip. I don't know what, well, you do need grit now, yeah, but it's dirty, you know. But hey, okay, we're gonna play with the shavings. Bye. And this one. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take you to the science museum and have them tell me why you run backwards. Yes, Miss Thang, you. You've done it since you were born. Why did they... They run back... It's weird. She's the only one that does that. That's how I know it's her. <laughs> eh. I know I'm filming them... Filming them... Longer than I usually do. It's... Uh, yeah, you know I'm following you, huh? Huh. Well, that's for keeping me up at night. Yeah. You guys hitting the top, yeah, of the metal here. Yeah, and going boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the barcode, it's not food. But, you know, as long as you think it's entertainment, it's cold tip. I... I swear, they turn around and give me the dirtiest look sometimes. It's like, hey, hey, I watched you guys come out of your shell. Yeah, you didn't ask me to watch you, but you guys were so cool. You're still cool. And guess what? Gosh, you guys are huge. I mean, they just grew like, <clears throat> and you might think it's they're puffing out their wings ever since they got sand to control their oil, but these guys, I've watched them every day. I tell you what, what they do that's so exciting that I realized, I know a lot of people who have quail agree with me. I watch them while they sleep. They'll all hunker down, and there will be like two or three here in the uh, sandbox, and one or two of them will be awake while everybody sleeps. It is so amazing to watch them in society of how they do stuff. But, yeah, scooty, scooty, booty, tootie. I just, I had a lot of fun watching these guys and especially watching them grow. They're just like my kids. I mean, kids are fun, you know, when they go from toddler, from, oh gosh, from baby to toddler to... <sighs> Just learning the world. And then a teenager, you know, they know everything. They're actually really old people and young bodies. And now they go through the 20s. And they're like, they say a lot of good spicy words. Because things are just not working the way they want it to. And usually that's because the choices they made. Sorry. Mom's going to tell you the truth. Yeah. Like it or not. But you don't want to listen to me? Just listen to the effects of your life. But I love these guys. I do. We came a long way. And guess what? We'll be doing it again because we have eggs in the incubator that are ready to be almost ready to be um look look oh 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 yeah yeah get get it squish it squish it in there oh he's so cute um 
yeah, they'll be on lockdown after this. So, and I am not helping any birds. Ah, excuse me. Out of the shell. If they want to live, they'll come out of that shell. Or they'll die in the shell. I've learned lockdown means lock down. And we got a better plan for cleaning these guys. Well, they're... It's called their husband, husband tree. Because... Yes, I really did take this serious. I want these guys to be happy and live their fullest life. And they taught me a lot. You see, Dad? <laughs> oh, big boy, ready to fly. No, that's a fat girl. Yeah, that's a big mama. She ready to fly. And we bring them out ever so once. I feel like a uh, uh, shampoo on the floor. I'd take them into the bathroom, but the floor is cold, so I ain't going through the whole ice thing anymore. But there they are. They're just. Fabulous. Well, some of them, someone's going to come say hello. Oh. They're very curious birds, too. Because I can put my phone inside there. Uh, yeah. And, um... They'll come and peck at it. So I have to set it up. Yeah. They're just doing all kinds of things. I'm just gonna let this roll. I know, there's always a rude one that just, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm very, very happy. Um, I got to watch my friend. I call her my friend. Um, uh, cat in UK and I got her in trouble a little bit um I I asked her if I could have um a refrigerator sticker um well magnet because I was so excited because she was showing us uh Windsor and the palace or castle whatever I don't know the right terms I was so in awe, I could not even absorb the information. But if you go over to her channel, and uh, I think it's Cat, Cat's Crime, and something else. I don't know, but you'll hear. It. She, you'll know. She's very highly intelligent, and she has a cat named Chip. Which I think is hilarious because chips to them is french fries. So, um, <laughs> so, but she was so, so sweet to get me a refrigerator magnet of Wenza. And I love it. And I thought that was so, so sweet for her to do that. I just hope a lot of people don't go 
hey cat, uh, can you send me this? Can you grab that? I mean, we did do a little window shopping. It was nice, but yeah, I enjoyed that this morning. And yeah, I'm gonna brag about it because I had a blast. <laughs> But, yeah, you guys go over and uh, check uh, Crime Lines and Lies with Brooks. She's talking about uh, Kylie right now. Kylie Rodney, 16 years old, went to a party, supposedly. We don't know. Well, no, they said she was there. Yeah. Called her mom, asked if she could stay out a little later. Nobody saw her leave. Nobody knows where she's at. And that was August 6th. And it's terrible. And they're out from California. So, this is a 16 year old little girl. I'm sorry, in my opinion, a little girl hanging out with older kids and supposedly older kids uh, that are called adults, yeah, showed up at this so-called party and it was kind of like nobody talks about Fight Club. Yeah, there were boxing gloves. Sammy says that they do it just to amp up the party. So, um, for entertainment. Um, I look at it this way. I think it's a good way to uh, get revenge. And pretend like it's all good afterwards. But I know what mean girls do. And... I was bullied by a mean girl, and it just happened to be on a rainy day. She had the whole school. By the time I got there that morning, she had the whole school piling around. Me. This is middle school, piling around me in a big circle, saying that I did this, that, and the other. Well, I did, and then I lied my butt off. But, she looked at me and said, you need to bow down on your knees and beg for forgiveness. That morning, it had rained. I had white jeans on 